All right, welcome back everybody. So uh, several numerous, uh, I would say, new small fires and we've got some fairly large fires out there as well. Uh, this is a satellite image, visible satellite from this afternoon. Let's go back two years ago to Labor Day weekend and uh, look at the difference. Remember that this was uh, the culmination of that historic uh, fire season that we had and uh, Boy, it's active today, but certainly not as bad as it was just a few years ago. There you can see the temperatures, 80s and 90s right now. Northwest winds gusting 30, 35 miles per hour. Humidity now down into the single digits, 9% in Gray Falls, 8% in Livingston. That's getting pretty dry. Uh, no precipitation here. We're going to see an increase in some of the moisture and precipitation coming through on Friday, really even Thursday night into Friday. That's when our fortunes begin to change. And uh, I know this is bad here. This is Dorian, but at least we're not talking about landfall anywhere in the uh, southeast coast here, at least uh, Florida, Georgia and South Carolina. There you can see uh, some of the track that will take it very, very close to the coast of South Carolina and North Carolina, but it certainly could have been worse. Just look at what the Bahamas are, are looking at here right now. And uh, by this weekend, that storm will be all the way up into the North Atlantic and thankfully uh, a distant memory here. But uh, here's a look at what will happen. Still several hours of windy conditions here in Montana. It calms down as the sun goes down, the wind that is. Tomorrow will be a much calmer day as far as the wind goes. Still warm, still dry. Uh, and uh, we'll still have an element of fire danger here until we get some good soaking rain coming in and it starts to move into the state southwestern Montana late on Thursday, Thursday night. And how about this for Friday? Low pressure moving right through the state showers. Yes, thunderstorms that will produce lightning. But this is going to be a good soaking rain coming through on Friday, Friday night, even into Saturday in the morning hours. We may still have a few rain showers around. Better chance of some rain the farther east you go. So here is the forecast for to, uh, tomorrow for Thursday. We'll have uh, warm temperatures once again. Enjoy it. I think today was the last day for a lot of towns, including Helena and Great Falls, to hit 90 degrees. Still a few 90s down towards the south. Not as windy tomorrow, but the fire danger. We all still need to be careful for Friday. Why? Widespread wet weather coming through much cooler highs in the 60s and the 70s getting into Saturday. Low pressure moving out a little rainier and cooler the farther east you go. Maybe a couple of showers in the morning around the capital, especially up there around Great Falls and Lewistown. Better afternoon into Sunday. Here comes yet another storm. So there is a parade of storms or a stormier pattern that really begins this Friday. We'll have rain likely by Sunday afternoon and evening. And that rain could continue into Monday and we've got more showers in the forecast Tuesday and Wednesday. Cooler temperatures as well. Once we get through tomorrow, we'll have highs in the 60s and the 70s. Just the cooler weather does wonders for the fire danger and for Great Falls. Still very active here this evening with the potential of fires, uh, new fires uh, that could grow. But uh, very likely seeing wet weather coming through Friday, Friday night into Saturday. Then again, later Sunday into Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday. I've never been so happy to have rain here uh, in the forecast. I know that is a nice looking seven day forecast. All right. Thank you so much, Curtis.